welterweight division matchup. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts body. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago. But he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business. And that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Ladies Bruce and gentlemen, Buffett. this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of nine wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hamzat Ball! Jemayev! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Leon Rocky Edwards! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? Uh, no shortage of UFC history has been made inside these walls. Good to have you with us from Honda Center tonight here in Anaheim, California. So many big UFC live events in this venue, DC. It's a great arena. It's a beautiful arena. But one that I would gladly never step foot in again. I may be the only guy to lose two UFC championships in this pit of hell. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And they are exchanging leather early. Well, he's connected. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's got a big knee. Back to the feet. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Big elbow. Elbow's landing now. Back to the feet. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Nicely done. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. In fight numbers for you now, 29 total strikes and now landed for Leon Rocky Edwards. Nice punch 
there by Evans. Lifts off the straight right hand. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here. He's being busy, but it's also the time coming into accuracy that's allowing him to land. Beautiful level change. Again, you gotta like that. Look at the turnover in that kick. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, and he's back up again. Single collar tie now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both guys really. Oh, big knee! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. Oh! Diving punch lands. Oh, he got it very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he might be out. So 130 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. There is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near-perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, 47 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Leon Rocky.